In this video, we'll show you a fast and effective way to reskin your game characters using a simple, AI-powered technique all while keeping each version consistent and true to the original design. Welcome to the Artificially Inked YouTube channel. I'm R7, your guide on this exciting journey into AI-powered game development. Hold on, I don't think I've seen this version of Larry around here before. I've been dispatched by the boss to inspect and document all violations in this facility. Whoa. I didn't think Larry's were equipped with speech that advanced. I'm a version tool Larry bot. Hopefully we can get some more bots like that. Our Larry bots are just a little off. Well, that brings us to today's topic. In this video, we'll show you a super simple workflow to generate multiple, unique versions of your game characters starting with our friend Lab Rat Larry. First, we'll need a 2D image of Larry to get started. Here's the one we'll be using. Important tip! Make sure your image has a background, preferably a solid color. Without one, the empty space can end up filled with unpredictable AI-generated textures when we in-paint. To begin, let's open the Canvas Editor. On the left side, select Upload and choose your image. For our image size, we'll go with 1024 by 1024. You might need to stretch or adjust it to fit the canvas perfectly. Next, it's time to choose our in-painting model. Since this Larry image was created with a 3D LoRa, we'll select the 3D animation model for the best results. Now that our canvas and presets are ready, we can start masking out the areas we want to change. But before we dive into the edits, let's check in with our new inspector back at the base and see what he's discovered so far. So, anything interesting to report so far? Indeed. I've documented a multitude of violations. Oh? What kind of violations are we talking about? Let's see. There's an unidentified vessel currently breaching the building, several non-functional service ports scattered throughout the facility, a creature detained in a storage area, and numerous health violations in the break room. This entire facility is at risk of being taken offline. No, no, we can't shut down the lab. We're doing important work here showing the world that making your ideas a reality is easier than ever. Lucky for you, I'll allow some time to bring this facility up to code. But don't delay. While I get the Larry bots busy bringing the lab up to code, let's dive into masking. To start, simply click on this paintbrush icon, which allows us to mark the area we want to change. Quick tip for the best results. Focus on smaller sections one at a time rather than tackling multiple areas or large sections at once. For instance, if we want to add both a cowboy hat and a vest, it's usually better to create the hat first, then move on to the vest. After marking your chosen area, just add a description of what you want and click Generate. Depending on what you're aiming to create, it might take a couple of tries to get it just right. In a few moments, you'll see four variations to scroll through. Once you're satisfied with the results, go ahead and download the output, then it's time to take it into our favorite 3D modeling tool, Trepo 3D. Just like that, we've created multiple character versions, ready for 3D transformation. This method isn't just for new character skins, you can even tweak and refine your original designs before converting them into 3D models. If you found this workflow helpful, Drop us a comment, we'd love to hear your thoughts. And while you're there, smash that like button, and don't forget to subscribe to stay updated on the latest and greatest in AI-powered game development. Now, let's check back with Safety Larry and see if he's uncovered anything else interesting. Looks like he's investigating our little spacecraft incident. Ouch. Looks like he got a bit too curious. I was really hoping we wouldn't have to rely on the other Larry bots to get this place back in shape. 